Now that is more like it. Now that is what I want to see from Dr. Stone. I'm not really sure what the name of this arc is. I would say like it's uh, Petrification Island arc. I, I I don't know. Like again, I I don't. <laughs> I haven't looked it up yet. I just. Uh, just got through it. Um, they have acquired the petrification device. The uh, the plot thickens. Uh, great, great arc. Holy shit! Not only did it like completely wash away almost all of my complaints with Stone Wars, it went above and beyond getting me excited about the future of Doctor Stone. Like it's actually we're actually getting to the point where we're getting to why the petrification happened, but. In order to do that, we find ourselves on another island where a group of people have possession of a petrification device. And as a result of that, have developed their own unique culture around it and are abusing its powers. Essentially, uh, essentially it... Um, you, have the, you have these islanders that are some kind of like offshoot of the, um, of the Ishigami village. Well, it's more accurate to say the Ishigami... Ishigami Village are the offshoot of this of these people who live on this island. It's the uh, origin of the original crash uh, crash site from where uh, Byaku, um, <laughs> uh, how do you say his name? Byakuga, um, Ishigami Senku's dad landed down with his buddies, and their descendants sort of live on this island and continue uh, <laughs> and and uh, continue living there to this day. So Senku, uh, during his first stop in this age of exploration, decides to stop at this island to, to gather valuable materials. Again, this is a, another one of those contrived aspects of Dr. Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just they just happen to collect a bunch of extremely rare minerals in the hopes that Senku may one day revive and may one day need them. It's a... Uh, it, it, it's kind of dumb. Like, it, it's... It, 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 Again, it's uh, it, it's it's a lot less, it's a lot more minor than it has been in the past, but uh, it, it's still a pretty glaring issue for the long part. So so they arrive at this island and uh, they discover these people and um, they get into a conflict with them. And the thing that really interests me about this arc, the the thing that really sets it apart from Stone Wars is that like it actually feels like a conflict between two groups of people. You have political drama, you have like uh, new characters introduced, you have these new ideas, um, this established hierarchy of people, you have these uh, these warriors who have adapted to this idea that the uh, the petrification device is some mighty weapon, uh, their, their greatest weapon. In a lot of ways, it's a lot more sophisticated than what Senku has already. So it's this really interesting case where they're up against this uh, established society with this weapon that they don't really know a whole lot about. So uh, they actually get blindsided in the beginning and actually have a severe disadvantage when uh, most of the crew get petrified and they, they uh, lose a, a considerable chunk of their resources and have to like sort of rebuild from scratch and sort of adapt and sort of like connect with these people and, uh, and uh, try, to find, um, try to find those who will help them overthrow their establishment and get their hands on the weapon. Um, and so they can study it and research and research how it works, right? So Senku, <laughs> so Senku, in interestingly enough, feels like a real anime protagonist at this point. <laughs> like it is really, really cool to see him uh, go up against these these people and sort of like uh, utilize his resources and actually go up against uh, another kind of science, like uh, the science fiction aspect. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I wanted to see from Stone Wars, is that like I wanted to see two conflicting ideologies clash. Like Stone Wars seemed like uh, intent on like pushing this idea that like, oh, we're not so different. There's no reason for us to fight. Not really. We want society to develop. Tsukasa, Tsukasa has his heart in the right place, but uh, he's going about this the wrong way. Like um, this arc, uh, Petrification Island, Seems more intent on like actually pers um, pursuing the idea that a society could develop a unique technology, abuse it, and, for and form this corrupt government around it, right? So, so just uh, so just seeing like um, 
to seeing Senku sort of go back to basics in a lot of ways, like uh, use science a lot more creatively. Like for example, uh, they have K Kohaku for a for the for a good for the first half or. Uh, I would say, like, the first half of the arc, they have access to Kahaku, and one of the things that's going on is that the master of the um, of the island is, like, going around, like, cruising for bitches, basically. He wants, like, to add girls to his harem. So, so Senku decides, like, yeah, we could, uh, we could, uh, we could take Kahaku, pretty her, pretty her up using makeup components, and actually make her presentable for this guy, and it's, <laughs> it's a really interesting sort of a, sort of, sort of idea because it, it, it kind of it kind of does emphasize just well for one thing the unexpected utility of things like makeup and and fashion right like uh, things that you wouldn't traditionally think as being like a science but in reality they kind of are because you are using chemicals you are using like a you are using colors you are you know causing reactions to to uh to create this desired effect right to uh, make yourself look more bangable and uh Gohaku does end up looking more like her sister Ruri after that, which is which is kind of interesting. Um, uh, yeah, in, in general, like uh, this arc in general, utilizes the characters other than Senku a lot more effectively. Like Gohaku does a lot. Our boy, my boy Jinro, does a whole lot more. Like Jinro in this is hilarious. He's like always going around just being a complete ditz, like fucking around. Like he's hilarious, and just the crazy shenanigans he gets into. It's just a. Uh, He's, he's, like, actually becoming, like, one of my favorite Islanders when I didn't really care for him in the beginning. Like, now at this point, he's one of my favorites because uh, he has so much personality. Gen, too, is there. Um, I, I, didn't, I, I can't believe I did not like Gen at first because he's really grown on me as being, like, this stalwart companion and this, uh, this guy who seems to, like, embody a lot of traits and talents that Senku simply doesn't have. Like, um... The, the way they sort of encompass like his uh, his persuasive his persuasive skills like his his manipulations um, his magic like his crazy off the wall like on the fly <laughs> ideas and like lies and like it, 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 it's great shit like and uh, their interactions with newer characters uh, Amaryllis Mozu um, Ibra like they're all great like <laughs> this. This arc is like legit, probably the overall best arc in the in the series so far. I think I cannot wait to see this animated. Like this is gonna be some crazy shit. You are in for a treat if you have not seen, if you have not read the manga. Uh, legit, like the best part. Like uh, the best part of Doctor Stone by far, I would say, uh, in, in the manga. Love, love, love this. This was this was great shit from start to beginning. Uh, it had a great setup, great, uh, great momentum, great pacing, great plot great conclusion and above all it's setting up for the next major encounter like we're seeing like all like the implications of some of the shit we've seen like towards the end of the arc is like mind blogging boggling it's uh it's really really crazy stuff it's um phenomenal and uh, I really don't know where it's going to go. And, and I think that's one of the things that really makes Dr. Stone, like, kind of stick out compared to, like, so many other shonen, sh um, so, so many other, so much other stuff like it. It's, like, <laughs> it, it's really creative with, creative with its general concept, its characters, uh, its plots, and uh, it's able to utilize them in an effective interesting way while uh, having a, a really interesting gimmick of having like a scientific uh, a focus on scientific advancement like based on real world science and technology to like justify why these characters can do the things they do it's uh it's great it is it is some great shit i i really love this this was this was phenomenal um if you haven't if you haven't checked out dr stone uh definitely do so because this is some good shit